Assalamu alaikum, alaykum my dear students I hope you all are fine Today we are going to do English literature work You have to do mention date and day We are going to do unit number 3 On the page number 26 to 29 Today we would have a notebook work so First of all you will make separate You will mention the name of the unit number 3 And NC and 5 Then you will do the work word synonyms so word synonyms furious very angry glum sad charming attractive which a person who practices magic fence barrier disappear vanish yams sweet potatoes skull and angry expression this was your word synonyms you will do on your notebook then on the next page you will mention unit number three and the name of the topic is picture description you will make picture only and on the next slide on the next page of your notebook first of all you will do unit number three page 30 and you would have the topic comprehension so you will have the first question, question number A, what was the witch's name and why did not she like it? She like it? Means you will tell the names of the witch and then what is the reason she may not like her name. So on the next slide the answer is mentioned. So answer number A, the witch's name was 5. You will write 5F capital because it is the name of the witch. And you know it is a proper noun right now here. She did not like it because all through her life people had laughed or looked surprised when they heard that was her name. So this is the answer number A. Then you will write question number B. You would have the question number B. What was the witch doing in her garden? Anybody can guess? Yes. Yes, she was cooking something. Hmm, you are right. So the answer B is the witch was stirring her big cooking pot and saying a spell in her garden. This is your answer number B. Question number C. Why was Anansi pleased? Pleased means happy. So, answer number C. And Nancy was pleased because he heard the witch and he thought he would be able to use her spell to make money or to get some food. Then we will do question number D. Oops, I have to use pencil first. And the question number D is, what was the first animal that Nancy tricked? It is very easy my dear students so answer number D is the first animal that Nancy tricked was Mrs. Rabbit again you will write down rabbit R capital because it is the name so you know the name of the anything is always proper now we are going to do question number E. Which animal were not, sorry, which animals were not fooled by an NC? So means you will write down the name of the animals that were not fooled by an NC's trick. Do you know the answer? So question number E is Miss Frog. And Mrs. Shrew 
वर नॉट फूल्ड बाय एन एन सी अगेन फ्रॉग एफ कैपिटल श्रू श्रू एस कैपिटल क्लियर वी वुड हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर एफ नाउ वट थिंग्स कूड यू बाय इन द मार्केट सो इट इज अप टू यू यू विल राइट डाउन द आंसर सो यू विल राइट डाउन द थिंग इट इज अप टू यू यू पीपल बाय इन द मार्केट इट इज अप टू यू ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू डू क्वेश्चन नंबर जी नाउ वाई वॉज मिसिज श्रू गोइंग टू द मार्केट एंड वट वॉज शी गोइंग टू डू देर सो द आंसर इज क्वेश्चन आंसर नंबर जी मिसिज श्रू वॉज गोइंग टू द मार्केट टू ट्राई टू सेल द पाइज शी हैड मेड शी वॉन्टेड टू बाय सम माउथ वॉटरिंग डेलीकेसीज फॉर हर फैमिली एट द मार्केट and then question number h is why did nnc get angry with mrs shrew so it's very easy number h is nnc got angry with mrs shrew because she would not say the number 5 clear let's back number i is how many characters are there in the story you have just read make a list so you have to tell the name the numbers of the characters again it is very easy so first of all i am going to clear all the items then i move forward there are six characters in the story number 1 the witch clear which name was five and then c mrs rabbit mr duck miss frog and mrs shrew the families of mrs shrew and nnc's are also mentioned but it was not mentioned the names of the people so we would have six characters only the important characters are clear so question answers are completed you have to do this work on your english literature notebook on the next slide you would have the topic this is the topic you will do on your textbook you have to open your page number 30 question number 2 fill in the blanks with suitable words from the story the first word the first sentence is it's a and then she was a trickster and he was having a dish time so difficult time difficult time the mm. i don't like i c it's u l t number b and then c dash through a gap in the witch's fence so answer is peaked question number the sentence number c he imagined what dish foods he would find what delicious you have to write very neat and clean my dear students i may not feel easily to write down to fill the blanks so 
D is a dash sound pulled enunciated from his day dream. A scream sound. Then E blank is She walked to the dish mound and stood on it. She walked to the nearest mound. F an NC dish and showed all his sharp teeth. An NC grinned. This is the work you have to do on your textbook. Clear? The next work is this is the question number three you will do on your notebook. Answer the questions about these lines from the story. So the line is mentioned here. One, two, three, four. And this one that I am sitting on. You have to write this line first. Then question number A. Who says these words? Anybody can guess? Yes, Mrs. Shriyu. And the answer is Mrs. Shriyu. Clear? Question number B. What is the speaker counting? Yes, the speaker is counting. Mounds. Yams mounds. Mounds of earth or yams mounds you have to write here. Question number C. Why does the speaker say and this one that I am sitting on means why does the speaker say this one I am sitting on, not the word five. The answer is Mrs. Shriu avoids saying the number five. She was not a fool. She guesses that Anansi is trying to trick her. She knows she wants her to say all the numbers so she does not do it. Then back and the question number D what happens after this do you know Anansi gets so cross means Anansi was was getting angry and he says the number five do you know he said that one two three four five and disappears this was the end of the story I hope it is easy for you to do this work. May Allah bless you. Have a good day. Allah Hafiz.